So we all loved Squid Game, that's obvious, so let's dive right into the video since the second season of the drama doesn't seem to be coming out until at least the end of the 2022. All right. Starting with the most obvious choice, it also centers around survival games, though with the added element of dystopia, so much like Hunger Games. The friends are forced to participate in a series of fatal games, and after each game, the visas of those who are successful are extended, while those whose visas expire are eliminated. It's very beautiful and tells a more, I think, broad and detailed story than the Squid Game does. I brought you all up here because I'm okay with strangers dying if it means I get to live. Playing games, children games, is a central part of Squid Game, so Truth or Dare is also quite a popular one. Not for children though, but it becomes deadly when a group of friends decides to start playing it in a haunted house. After that, something evil starts chasing them, forcing them to play the game at a very high stake. Call that number. Why? They make your life fun. The game focuses on the topic of an alternate reality game. It's a kind of game that uses the real world at the platform and employs storytelling to deliver a story that may be altered by players' ideas or actions. The main hero gets a voucher for a game that promises to change his life and give him his spark back. So let me tell you the game and what this poor man went through and for what totally shook me when I was a child. The plot is very interesting, especially if you don't know who's behind all this, so it's a, it's totally a must-see. You know who I am? I can't remember who I am. It's one of the episodes, so I can't say much in order not to spoil it, but it also focuses on people watching other people. Your task is simply this. Kill three of your co-workers or we will kill six others. The Belco experiment shifts the location to a normal office. The employees of Belco are trapped in their office one day and are instructed to kill at least two employees within 30 minutes. So it's quite, quite a roller coaster. Why would they throw innocent people in here? Are we being punished? There's a way in here, so there's gotta be a way out. Cube has gained a lot of following over the years and it came out in 1997. I wasn't even born at the time because its concept was revolutionary at the time. So a group of strangers wakes up in a mysterious cube filled with death traps and tricks. To escape, they must work together to solve the cube. Survival and whether people deserve to be saved are the main topics of a life. It's a zombie thriller about a young man who locks himself in his apartment during an apocalypse. He bonds with another survivor and they try to prove to the world, to themselves and to us, the viewers, that humanity, humanness still exists. And that's what the final question of the Squid Game is about. It's called panic. <laughs> this year the winner's gonna take home $50,000. Each year there are new players. <laughs> a TV show about a game as a way to escape a not so great life. So very similar to the characters from Squid Game, every summer the graduating seniors risk their lives competing in a series of challenges that force them to confront their deepest fears for a chance to win life-changing money. Mind you, it's a teenage series, but for a teenage series it's pretty decent. I'm sure that there are a lot more of such movies and TV shows, so let's share them in the comments below. And thank you for giving this video a view, it totally means a lot. Have a nice day and never stop watching great movies and TV shows.